Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how's it going? For TPD TV, I am Rob Kellis, and you're watching Hot Twos, because two is better than one. Today is a special day, because I'm joined by a real enigma. The man, the myth, the legend, and one of my oldest friends on this planet. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Matty Bridey. Hey, it's an absolute pleasure, mate. I need to start this by I ain't good with spice. Yeah. I've already smelt some of these on this end and I'm coughing like Idris, mate. It don't feel too that good. Something Idris does? He does cough on a, another show that's related to hot stuff. Kind of like this. A little bit Someone's like this. Ripping us off. I think they have, you know, maybe a cease and desist. I'm going to explain to you, I'm sure you know how it works, but yep. for those watching at home, if you don't know, we're going to have a little interview here, and uh, just before each question, we're going to have a little spicy piece of chicken. It's going okay. to get spicier as we go up. We're going to see if you can handle the heat. Right. You handle the heat, you get out of the kitchen. Hey, I'll be getting out soon, brother. So we'll get started with the first sauce. Yeah. This one's really a flavour-based sauce. It's left to right, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Nice, mate. Thank you for telling me that, because I might start it over here. No, you don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, uh, this one's called the Classic, and it's 1800 Scovilles. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for being here. So, Bridie. That's nice. I know you travel all over the UK. Yeah. More so than any of us. Yeah. With all your travels to all these different cities and places in the United Kingdom, I want to know, what's your favourite place in the UK? What's the nicest place that you've seen? Now, people won't believe this, genuinely. More so the Daily Mail. But Scotland, yeah. you know, I love going up to Scotland. It's, it's just got, the roads are clearer than down like here. The weather, I'm a big guy, so I've got the desire to perspire constantly, yeah? Classic. So the road, it's just a bit cooler up there. People are friendlier as well. I'm sure I was looking for like the best places to live because I want to get a house. Um, I'm sure we're in like the top 10, uh, Glasgow and Edinburgh, or even in the top, I think five or six, Glasgow and Edinburgh were in there. I just love Scotland. Totally the, agree. People are lovely. Particularly Glasgow. Glasgow is probably my top five favourite really? cities. Totally agree. I think it's amazing. I love it. They I, did us dirty in the Daily Mail, man. They did us real dirty. You know where I hate and I don't like going? London. Mm. Not a big fan of London. Just Who is? Yeah. And obviously being from Yorkshire, I love Yorkshire as well. We're Yorkshire boys, aren't we? How's the heat? You feeling any burn? That felt fine. Yeah? That felt fine, yeah. yeah. I know it's all right. Well, it? you might like this next one. It's a bit kind okay. of fruity. This is yeah. Tropicante. We'll move up the ranks here for the second one. Cheers. Cheers. You've been driving since 17. I have. You're the first person in the group to get a car. Yep. Me and you have spent a lot of time in a lot of cars. I want to know, of all the cars you've had in the past, which one do you miss the most? Oh, such an easy answer, mate. Like, genuinely, the Focus. Really? The Focus Which is the one. Because you had two Ford Focuses. I did. The uh, only the finest. The, um, it was the grey Focus. It was the one that we spent so much time in. And, like, I truly think to be, like, good in your craft, there's that same way it's like you have to put 10,000 hours of repetition in. And I think for all of us, like, on a night we would get together and it would be like Raz, Dan, me, yourself. Um, some unnameables, we would all come together and we would chill in the car and we would just like bounce off each other. There would be, it would be hilarious. Like we'd all get cancelled now. But even doing things like the Three Peaks, so like doing like... Um, Tell them what you mean. Oh, you say the three, three Peaks, so we'd go out, we'd be wanting some food, we'd go to Mahmoud's in Bradford, we'd go to Chicano's in Batley and then we'd finish off with a beautiful Mill Hill. And there were the three, the three peaks. <laughs> and it's like, that car just is, is brilliant. I would love to try and get that car back because it, the, the amount of memories, like even little things like us dropping down the curb while we were trying to spy on someone. God, yeah. We were in that block of flats thinking we're real stealthy, crawling along. All of a sudden the car drops two foot and the front wheels have fallen off the fucking edge of the, the old garages that used to be there. Such a great time. That one, I would say it's probably followed by the, the range. The range was cool. I like the Range Rover Classic. It just didn't have as many memories for me. It wasn't. Nowhere near as reliable. It really, really wasn't. Um, but in terms of appeal for the car, yeah, probably the range. But Brilliant. The Focus wins. How are you 
Feeling that that one's okay, that one's okay. Right I'm, I'm doing all right, yeah. This is a peri peri one, so. Okay, kind of style. very nice. That's those vibe. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That was all right. A, nice, bit, isn't it? a bit afterwards, but I can take that. We mm. met in high school. <clears throat> we met in high school. Can you handle the heat, mate? Are you all right over there? I'm a bit nervous speaking to uh, <laughs> a man in a, a man in a seven XL <laughs> top. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> uh, we met in high school, we and did. we were. We were really good friends in, in year 10 and year 11. Yeah. But we became brothers. Absolutely. In college. We went to college at Leeds College of Technology. Yeah. And someone once said to me, I've never seen a normal looking person walk out of that <laughs> building. And I'm inclined to agree, with yeah. a couple of exceptions. Us. Half I want to know, of all the memories that we made at college, which one stands out as one of your favourites? <sighs> oh, great question, man. The, the thing that comes straight back to my memory is playing like Betty in the grave in the graveyard in the church like we just, spent a lot of time hanging out in the graveyard we did yeah and it, it was just it was like a free place like yeah everybody on that course must have been really oppressed nerds within high school and there's a debate whether there's like a place for bullies within school to keep that down but Everybody was set free there, and everyone in our group had a little bit of in individuality about them. And we'd go to college, and genuinely, it's some of the best years still in my life. I absolutely loved college, man. Get in the bus every morning. Yeah, like we'd get on the bus, pick up a metro, and then we seem to have an intelligent conversation about the news and the, what's in the metro. Like, mm, yeah, get off the bus straight away, try and kick a pigeon, and then like <laughs> college of a stupid shit. We were shit. intellectuals while travelling. Yeah, we was reprobates while on. while we were off. But yeah, probably hanging around the graveyard, playing like the games in there. That's where we first started kind of making videos within there, within the college setting as well. We was trying to like be a little bit creative, create set the insane the on the membrane games. Yeah, that was good. The, the thing that kind of stands out to me about that is none of those people signed up for that. <laughs> no, none, of our, none of our course mates signed up for being on vlog. No. But guess what? Here's a fucking camera in your face. <laughs> yeah. And also you're a pedo. <laughs> yeah. Multiple <laughs> serial <laughs> defender. <clears throat> All the time. There like, was an entire video of us just filming him going, serial. Yeah, <laughs> Mikey's a pheasant fucker. Yeah, he like just from that, random, yeah. like weird. But yeah, probably around that area Great where we started time, filming. Great Loved time. it. 2008. Hey, Long look at us, eh? Look at us. <laughs> look at us. I'm gonna start on the milk, mate. The tongue is tingling a little oh bit from Lord. that. Well, we're three in. We got seven to go. Okay. This okay. next one is another kind of fruity one. Another one that's really kind of reliant on flavour. It's called the Phoenix, and it's yep. got some cantaloupe melon in. Lovely. So here we enjoy. go. That's oh, the, one of my favourites. The kick comes after, doesn't it, really? Oh, Jesus. i got a simple question for you. Oh, please. I just want to know if your dad had a good time at the World Cup in Japan. <laughs> and if you could tell us a bit more about why I'd ask you such an interesting question like oh, that. World Cup in Japan, eh? Mm. What a great time that was, yeah? Yeah. Um, yeah, we had an amazing time down in Kent, which is where we actually were, yeah. so... Somehow... Oh, I just crafted this lie to a couple of my mates in primary school that I was going to go to the World Cup in Japan and um, it got really out of hand. Like Teachers were involved, head of the school was involved, everyone's like brilliant, enjoy Japan, enjoy... And I'm like yeah no problem. No, we just went down to Kent to go see my, <laughs> my, my grandma and my family down there and oh my god I got back and um, one of the like heads of the years went up to my dad in an assembly and was like, oh, how's Japan? I bet it was amazing. We were all sat in, because um, at school, like you would get the big TV out for them games and everyone would come around and watch it before the school started. We were trying to look for you, but we couldn't see you or Matthew. My dad's like, Japan? We were about Japan and he's like, you went to Japan for the World Cup, didn't you? He was like, no, I went to Ken. And I remember, mate, honestly, I got dragged up in front of the whole of my class. By this. He was a prick, this teacher. I yeah. can't remember his his name, he was just a dickhead. And just called me out in front of everyone. And then literally I stood there for about 15 mi minutes while he just belittled me, made like a point out of me. And like, maybe I deserved it, but he was a bit of a cunt. Like you couldn't get away with that now. But yeah, that was the, that was the good old fashioned lie that we went to Japan. You've never told a lie since, is that right? Not a single lie. <laughs> I've got a bit of a spice in my mouth. That one is a little bit you like- You did really well, Bryden. It's kicking around there, mate. You were very vocal before we started shooting that not I don't like then. spicy. This was a sour challenge. <laughs> well, we'll I do would a, be on it. If you want to see a sour ones or sour mm, twos, yeah. 
after this series is done, let us know and uh, I'll happily spend. Yeah, we'll uh, get that, mate. Sponsor money on some sweets. Yeah, I'm have to do a few tests myself. I think we've already done the sour one, didn't we, <laughs> yeah. on the bus to Huddersfield? Oh. God, remember putting all those sour sweets. About, I think you had eight, I had nine. Sounds about right. Well, you're more gluttonous than I am. <laughs> Clearly. We're going to move up now to the halfway point already. Time flies when you're having fun. This, is this one looks a little bit different. Is it's this a razzy nookie? <laughs> what do you mean a razzy nookie? A little bit gingery. It does look ginger. It's kind of an interesting sauce, this. It's midway through the scale, okay. but it's kind of like an oil almost. Um, right. It's not really my favourite, but... Oh, hey, here we go. Cheers. Let's try it. Okay, that was alright. Oh, maybe not. Oh la la. Oh. Brady, I know you've got a real love and affection and you care deeply about animals, in particular about dogs. I do, yeah. I know that you grew up with dogs and you're very, very passionate about pet ownership and you put a dog right at the top of the list on the hierarchy of pretty much all living things, above oh, yeah, humans, yeah, yeah. above anything. Cases. What is it about dogs and pet ownership that you think is important? Uh, it's, yeah, I just think, and it's more difficult this year, I lost my dog of like 15. You can get air tags in their collar now, <laughs> so you can find them. If I wish it was that easy, man. They yeah, have 15 years, um, just a beautiful, now I think for a man, Without going to, you're quite a lonely creature within this world. Like you've got, we, we're lucky we've got a band of brothers, but your real deep thoughts, you can't really get out and tell to many people. And bless with that dog, like she was just the softest thing. And I think most I have to raise correctly the beautiful animals that just care and want to show you affection in receive for, just for a little bit. Never moan at you, never want anything else from you apart from your time. So I, I just think, I think we've, I think they're too good for us, really, man. We're just, we yeah, we don't, man. They're just, they're too kind. And I know they're manipulating you a little bit. They just want food and heat and shelter. But, yeah, I think they're just, there's a reason why it's called man's best friend. Right? And, yeah, truly, I miss my dog so much. I'll bet. I really, really do. Do you think, you mentioned that you were wanting to get a house at some point. Do you think, yeah, you, absolutely. Do you think getting a dog will be a big priority for you? Yeah, it will be. Yeah, I would, I would like a dog. As long as I know I can give it a good life, and I can walk it and look after it. Absolutely, yeah. I, I, would, I would love a dog. Well, I look I forward really to that would. day coming, mate. Yeah, I would as well, mate. Absolutely. That'd be amazing. This one on. doesn't look so nice. So mate. the reason that this one looks kind of weird is, and you'll like this, mate. Believe me. Oh yeah. It's because it's got chocolate in it. Oh, it's okay. chocolate infused. I've had that with the cigars though <laughs> before, mate. So <laughs> this doesn't taste like chocolate. Tell them the story about the cigar. So I invite Dan over to cook me on this. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them about we the got cigar. A They'll have seen, hopefully you've seen it, but in the um, one of the travel vlogs, there was a time where I thought, you know what, I'm going to start being a connoisseur. I've seen the old Andrew T. He smokes the cigars, yeah? I want to try a cigar and see what it's all about. So, start getting a couple of cigars. We go to, um, God, where was it now? It was in Zurich where we smoked it. No, but I bought it from the place we thought we was going to be a Zurich 2.0, but it turned out to be absolutely shite. Oh. Where was that? Was that Luxembourg? Luxembourg, yeah, it was. Bought them from there. We then uh, go back to the campsite up in, uh, or go to a campsite up in the Alps. Watch a video of how to do this cigar. Even bought... How to smoke the cigar. Yeah, even bought a Swiss army knife that had a cigar cutter on it. Get there, start smoking. It just doesn't light up. It's just an absolute mess. Three of us trying to light up. And we're all like, oh, this one's meant to be chocolate flavoured. And it just tasted like funny bit was like we oh. were we were like oh i can kind of taste the <laughs> oh chocolate. shit yeah and then we look in the bag and that's not even the fucking the chocolate, chocolate one's in the bag and we're all like mm, yeah chocolate well this sauce tastes okay. a bit more chocolatey than the cigar well here we go cheers, cheers brother mate. can you detect the chocolate a little bit oh wait hang on it's not even the chocolate one <laughs> it's the bit that comes after that gets you really in it mm. like the um Blows you into a false sense of security. Mm. Oh, that milk's nice. Look. If you need a to top up on the milk, got it right here. Beautiful. Mate. Just for you, mate. Okay. Excellent. Righty, you're the only person I know on this planet who has dropped out of both a metropolitan and a red brick university. That's me, both mate. Both in Leeds. <clears throat> Consistent. Both probably 500 yards from each other. Yeah. What's the story there? Well, it's a lot of debt. That's what I can <laughs> yeah. tell you. There's a, there's a bit of debt left over there. 
Um, just, oh, you, we had such a good time in college. Mm-hmm. And what I, like, I didn't really, I got triple distinction. You got, um, was it? Distinction, distinction, merit. I that got was just it, one the one below. But I got the top one. So I had the opportunity to go to a Russell group, the uni at Leeds, and do um, information technology there. And what I realised, when I got there, it was just like high school musical. Everyone was rich. There was a, a good story to tell here to understand the difference and why I wasn't suited there. I remember talking to a girl when we first got there, and I was like, and she's like, "Where are you from?" And I'm like, "Oh, just a bit out of Leeds from the Parkwoods estate." She's in Beast, and it's a council estate. So she's like, "Oh, okay. Have you have your family owned that estate for a while?" I was like, "What? Okay, like, what do you mean?" She's like, this, "The estate. Have they owned it for a while?" I was like. Oh no, it's a council estate. We never spoke again. <laughs> I knew from that day I'm just not suited to, to that. And then I panicked. I went out and did a, a, would you believe, physical education course. And again, just dropped out. It really wasn't for me. And I probably would encourage most people, if you wasn't going to do a core subject, just not to do it. I think it's nearly 30 grand to do a, a normal course now. Mary owes about 65 grand on hers. It's scandalous. No wonder she's getting her tits out on the internet. We all would if we could, wouldn't we, really? Yeah, you can. <laughs> well, I don't I mean, think I I'd... I don't think I'd... Should we do a joint one? Yeah, I don't do you know what, mate? Taking over the world. Then we suit both, don't we? <laughs> yeah, do you know what? Both ends of the scale. I could be your feeder. Kind of like, like we're doing now. <laughs> right. It's already happening. Ready for the next one? <laughs> don't touch it. How's your, how's your heat? It's okay for me, mate. I'm it's a bit okay. spicy, you know. He's doing well I'm today. I'm all right, I'm all right. These ones are scaring me. But we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Right, Bridey, we're down to the last four. Um, yes, mega sir. impressed, you should be very proud of yourself. I'm doing well for my standards. At the start, we started on 1800 Scovilles. Yep. And we've moved up now to Cosmic Disco. If memory serves, it's not a great taste, this one. And as I say, we started on 1800. Yep. Now we're on 103,000. Okay. So we've scaled up. That really next well. one looks scary. Cheers. All right, cheers, brother. Oh dear. Oh, these are deep waters. I feel like they're submersible. Friday, we've arrived at my favourite round, round seven, which is, explain that, Graham. I've got three pictures here, printed out from the photographic archives of Matthew Bridie, and I'd like you to explain them, please, to the viewers. This is the first one here. Ah, oh, shit, you know. Where did you find that? Where did you find that? Jesus, that was hot. Um, yeah, just balance it over the border. That picture is from when we were in college. Oh, Jesus, man. We go into Poundland, don't we? Me and you. And these DVDs are a pound each. Um, we just thought, you know what, let's buy two DVDs that's completely opposite ends of the spectrum. And I've still got both of them DVDs. No way. I do have them DVDs. The Start Fishing and the My Best Friend's Mum. Really good. I've not watched that Best Friend's Mum no. one, so I wouldn't recommend it. The Start Fishing one, really good though. Yeah. Really good. Long time ago. Eh? Oh, my ear is hurting now. <coughs> Jesus. This one is just two dapper men, really, isn't it? Um, oh, fucking hell. So this one is um, me and you in front of the dartboard, the place we love to be, um, wearing our authentic Gucci tops, sourced from Cheatham Hill at a discount. They must have fallen off the back of a wagon, but they're definitely real. Mm. I've had them tested by Gucci. Um, yeah, that's where we got them from, beautiful garments. We used to spend, um, we spent a few weekends at Cheatham Hill, didn't we? Yeah, you spent a lot of time getting told what to do there, didn't you? When they were like, come in my shop, and you were like, yes sir, no problem. For anyone that doesn't know, first it's of all, gone now. shut up, is it? It's gone, they've cleared it all out. No way. Mm. So it was a load of news agents in uh, this strip in Manchester, and um, every Sunday it turned into just an enormous counterfeit market, and you'd go in to one of the news agents, and they'd have like all fake, like North Face, uh, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, high fashion. And sometimes the cops would roll through and they'd literally shut the shutters of the news agent. We got shut there. in once, didn't we? Did, we? Yeah. And the guy's like looking over the top shutter like, what is going on here? Yeah, crazy. It's kind of scary. 
It was, it was so exciting, like, just rabbit warrens, weren't they? Like, you'd go mm. up into the back, then there would be, like, okay. ten shops at the back. Yeah. You bought the woman's blue Adidas, Adidas tracksuit. Yeah, I did, and, you know, I rocked it, mate. Really yeah, did well in it, mate. Really well. Oh, so oh, that's that one. Last photo for you, mate. Okay, mate. The best to last, hopefully. I, I think it is the best. What's going on there? Jeez. <clears throat> one of the nicest pair of joggers I've ever owned, then. Yeah? With the blue band and the blue... <laughs> Three stripes. <clears throat> that is a passed out Matt Bridey at Leeds Fest 2014, I believe. Um, first night, I've just just got absolutely wasted, really. And then we've, um, yeah, just got absolutely wasted, fallen asleep. And I remember I was in this tiny tent, yeah, like a two man tent. And I had nothing on the floor apart from a sleeping bag. And um, you come a long way. Yeah, I really have, and that's what scared me. That's why it's so much better now. And uh, God, yeah, I remember waking up, freezing cold, and I think you was trying to chaperone me into the um, into my tent. And for some reason, Raz was like, I can remember Raz going, "Take his clothes off. It'll warm him up if you take his Typical clothes off." Raz. And I was like, well, "Please don't take my clothes off, Rob. That would be awful." And yeah, I remember from then getting into the tent. And the tent, the uh, thingy bag wouldn't zip up. So I had to just lay it over me and lay on the cold floor inside the tent. One of the worst nights sleep. But it's informed every but festival since then. Absolutely. There, and that is why I will now never compromise on my sleeping within the tent. I will always make sure it's the best possible options. Well, you're doing really well. We'll <coughs> right, move on man. to the next one. I'm scared Number of this. Three. Welcome to source number eight. Yeah. That one. This is a really easy one. For where it is in the lineup, it's really, really easy, this one. It looks awful up there, mate. I gotta tell you, mate, I gotta be honest with you. It's the worst one of the 10. This is the killer. It's all downhill from here. Are you game? This may be my last one, let's but see. let's do it, brother. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Friday in 2020, you underwent an insane body transformation. We've talked about it on the podcast before and the viewers know because they've been on that journey with you. They've seen you bounce from a little big to way too skinny to way too big to just right to somewhere in the middle. I'm back to way too big right now. Something I admire is you just end up where you want and you decide, I want to eat some burgers and I'm not going to I'm not going to let this diet ruin my life. But what I know if you just decide overnight that you want to switch back to being really good physical fitness, you can just do yeah. that. You can just laser in and you've got that discipline. And oh. I've never seen anything else like it. Where do you think you get that discipline from and how do you stay focused when you're doing that? I think this is hot, mate. Yeah, it is. That is gonna be my last one. Oh. That comes from, I think, because I was so fit and healthy at one point in my life. And I... <clears throat> Jesus. <laughs> I came from being so fit and healthy. So I know my body quite well. I know what to put in it to get the right results. I know how to be fit and healthy. And, but just equally, I know how to eat like a pig. And it's just, I do need to find as we're getting older at balance in between. And that's what I'm going to try and do this year. But it's just, it's just having a lot of discipline as well. Like, when I'm on summer and I want to achieve it, I will just get to it because I'm able to put the blinkers on and just get there. And I don't have to worry too much about everything else on the outside. If I want to get to A, a to B, I can do it. But, mate, that is me absolutely done. Yeah. I've got to work tomorrow. You're opting out. At I'm opting out. Uh, thank you so much, man. Well, what we do, we're the first person to opt out. Oh, shit. But I think you've done really well considering... considering Sorry, I get lemon that. and herb at Nando's. There's still two more questions. Okay. It's my understanding that on similar shows, the questions still roll on. I'm going to match you. So if you don't want another one, I won't have another one either. I'm starting to oh, yeah, it's struggle feeling myself. It, mate. We've been... Making videos for as long as I can remember. Yes. The first upload on our first YouTube channel, Death to the Tube. Yeah. Was me and you smashing up God. a cardboard tube.
That video is sadly lost in the archives, never to be found again. It's a shame. But since then, we've achieved things that we could only dream of. Literally you and I of. sat in college dreaming of this about some of the things we've been able to do and we're oh, so lucky. I want to know of all the memories that you've got with the gang, with the boys, with TPD TV. What's your number one best memory? The one I hold closest to my heart is Route, Route 66. Just solely because we're all great friends on this channel. But right there, there's a core of four lads that I just have been friends for so long. Like Danny White has been my friend, my longest and oldest friend since like primary school. Me, obviously, I'm you and Raz. Me Raz. And we all come together. We met in high school when we was probably about 14 years old. And I've just all been like a band of brothers since then. And everyone else is included within that. But it was just like, at that time, everything aligned. It was a great group that all had the same kind of like, just intentions to have the best time possible. Everything was, was free to do. It was just amazing. And I, I think it was an amazing video. It's a video I, I look back and I watch and I just think, God, I, I will show that to my children if I ever have any, about how proud I am that I managed to do that. And, and yeah, I loved it so much, mate. Totally agree. Mm. So thank you for being part of that as well, mate. Right back at you. Thank you for facilitating. Mm. You and Raz, we couldn't have done it without you. No. We appreciate it more than could be vocalised. You still <laughs> not feeling another? No. All right, well, my tongue is still question. swollen. Yeah, it's a tough one, that, isn't it? It's, it really is a bad one. It's and a I'm surprised one. it's not the last one. Because the other two, they're spicy, but they're, they're nice. The bomb. All right, shall we try this one? No, then? no, no, don't let me pressure you. Now you've had the bomb. The issue is with having the bomb is, I mean, when Dan did this, he said having the next one made it easier for him. Like it washed away some of the bomb. Okay. But I think they'd be better suited before because then you get the flavour. Whereas at the minute, we're both kind of struggling. Let's try this one. This next one, number nine. Tackle yeah, let's only. try this one. <coughs> and then we got another <coughs> question for you. And then you get yourself out of it. Beautiful, mate. Cheers. Cheers, the last one. So the bomb is 135,000 Scovilles. This one's 580,000. Right, thank you. I'm waiting for it. I'm not getting it yet, yeah. though. Because you're already fucked from the bomb. Righty. What's that one like at the end then? That's the Hot Ones specific special 50 pound a bottle sauce. And I think again it's easier than the bomb. Have a look. No pressure though, I'm cool. You think it's easier? I think it's easier <coughs> than the bomb. The, the worst is behind us now, brother. Should we do it then? Well, let me tell you about something called The Last Dab. Okay. On similar shows, if so desired, they do something called the last dab. You scrape where, it off and then have it just blank. It, <laughs> it's where, um, if you want to put a little bit more sauce on you, then you can. Right. Absolutely not. <laughs> don't that be your answer. But, uh, Why on, don't you do it, mate? I, the host has got to match the guest out. Okay. Is this one bad? <clears throat> I think we'll pass the worst of it, brother. Okay, let's do it, mate. Well done. To me Fuck and you. you. Bang in. I'm going to picture with my clear bog. I love that. Oh, okay. Mm. Every week, every other day, I check the YouTube comments and there's always people saying, we love Matty Bryden. Yeah. You are probably the most beloved person I've ever met. Oh, and people are asking to see you in the videos all the time. Now, we don't need an excuse here. That's not what this is about. I'd okay. love to see you as much as the viewers would. Likewise. However, what I do want to know is obviously you see this outpouring of love. What do you want to say to the people out there that are rallying for Matty Bridie every week, relentlessly? Oh. What would you say to them? I am truly so thankful that people would want to use their time to watch me having a good time with my friends. And it, it's just, it's difficult. Obviously, yeah, you were saying about this because it's just hard. This year's not been, or the past year, not a great year, personally. A lot going on for me there that's been difficult. And my job doesn't help as well. Like, one week I could be in Edinburgh, next week I could be in London, week after out in Wales, over at Norwich, up to Leeds, out to Hull, and so on and so on. 
So getting all that time and planning around it, it is difficult, as well as trying to keep just everybody happy. But truly to the people that we, I just hope I can help people with that. If some of the videos that they watch means that it takes their mind away from some of their troubles, just amazing. But thank you so much. Like I am a nobody. So not to have somebody me. think I'm somebody. You're not a nobody, my Brady. You're amazing. a man who's just finished. Well, the hot thank you so much, man. Polish those off and Ooh. you've done really well. Me and Dan were dead yesterday, and yeah, we might have had a bit of sauce on, but we were crying, we were sweltering. It's interesting how day by day it fluctuates, but you've done really well. Thank you. Very, very proud of yourself. I've loved it. Thanks so much for using your limited time while you're not driving around the country <laughs> to be here with us. Thank to, you. Man. Um, you know. We really appreciate it. You've absolutely smashed it. Thank you so, so much, mate. Ooh. Lots of love. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We will see you next month with another very special guest. I've been Rob Kellis. This is Matty Bridie. Hello. This is Hot Twos. And we'll see you next time. Lots of love. Bye-bye.